Hi, everyone that's coming in. I'm going to see if it centers me today or not. <laughs> I'm going to give it like maybe five minutes and then I'll start. I know the last time it centered me. Hey, everyone coming in. I'm going to give it a few minutes, but definitely comment and post where you're from and let me know you're pissed off with these public officials. Last time it censored Doug and I so much, so we'll see if it centers me today. If you guys are coming in, I'm just waiting to see if it centers me today. The last time I didn't even stream to Facebook for Doug and I, so we'll see if it will stream today. It'd be a little bit lonely without Doug today. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm just going to see if it's going to censor me today or not and uh, post where you're from and if you can or if you feel comfortable. Looks like it might censor me today. We'll see. I'll give it a couple minutes. Let me know you can hear me too. I think this is streaming to Rumble. I hope it is. And Twitter, I think it's streaming to Twitter too. Or X, I guess it's not called X, not Twitter anymore. If you're just coming in, I am just waiting to see if it centers me or not. So. It looks like it's probably going to censor me today, like it did last time. At least it's streaming to actual Facebook this time. <laughs> Crazy. I'm going to give it like two more minutes, guys, and see. Hopefully, you guys can all hear me. I'm going to give it like two minutes and see. I know I get censored heavily, especially when we're talking about any type of public official. They censor it like crazy. So. All right, guys, I think it's going to censor me, so I'm just going to start. I don't even give it two minutes because it's just going to censor me, so I can just post, like, do this recording and then uh, post it, and then you guys can kind of share with everyone. So I was talking with Doug this morning, and we were talking about these criminal complaints that we have been doing and teaching people, and one of the things that's happening is these public officials are getting pissed off and they're retaliating against our loved ones. And I have a lot of people that follow me that have loved ones in the in jail or the prison system. And, you know, when you kind of look at the statistics of the prison system, 80 percent of the people that are in there are innocent. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that there are guilty people in the prison system, but there are innocent. 80 percent are innocent. And that is because there is a bond attached to every single one of these court cases. I don't care if it's a civil case, a divorce case, a um Criminal case, whatever case it is, because all of the cases, even criminal, are actually a civil case and they are making money off of your bond that is attached to it. So <laughs> they're retaliating against the loved one. So basically kind of what's happening is if you um, do a criminal complaint and you have a loved one in jail or prison, they're taking the loved one's 
either putting them in the hole, right, for a godly amount of time so they can't talk to their loved ones, or they're putting them on a thing that's called bus therapy. And so they'll put them on a bus from one bus to a prison. And then in that prison, they'll be there for like, you know, a couple days to two weeks. And then they'll, once everything catches up to them, their canteen and their commissary and everything, they'll put them on another bus, right? And then when you really start to freak out these prisons and public servants, they will then turn around and get pissed off and put you on a worse bus therapy where they will put you on a bus for 10 to 12 hours. They will not feed the inmates. They will not let them go to the bathroom. They'll just put them on the bus. They'll drop them off at a prison for a couple hours, maybe feed them, maybe not. And then they will turn around after a couple hours and then put them on another bus for another 10 to 12 hours. Now, just, just so all of you know, the ones that act, that pay taxes still, these are your tax dollars. They're, they are torturing women and men to because they're pissed off because we, the people, have had enough. And these are public servants and we're standing up to them. It's time for the court of public opinion. And it really pisses me off that I'm so censored right now because... This is an important video, and this is how we stand up. Listen, we do the, these criminal complaints. What we then do is turn around and show them that we are standing together and we are, have had enough. So we start commenting on these videos and we start saying, hey, listen, this is where I'm from. I'm from Florida. I'm from Texas. I'm from Colorado. I'm from Arizona. I'm from Hawaii. You know, even in other countries, I know I have a lot of people from the UK, Australia and Canada that follow me. You know, when they start realizing that internationally and nationally that people are watching these public servants turn around and torture our loved ones, then they're going to they're going to realize that, hey, we're not going away right now. We're exercising our First Amendment right. OK, our First Amendment right comes into play. And then when that doesn't work, our Second Amendment comes in. We're not quite there at the Second Amendment, but I think we're getting there pretty quickly. But this is where we all start come together with our First Amendment. We start posting on these videos and saying, hey, you know what? I'm sick of you torturing my loved one. I'm sick of you torturing my loved one in the system. And guess what? If you have a loved one or you, and it's crazy because most people that do follow me are people that have been in the system one way or the other. They know because I sympathize with it. And all of those people, you were chattel. You had a bond attached to you and your loved one has a bond attached. There's a QCIP number attached to that um, case. And then they turn around and in the jail, in the prison, if you get convicted, your body is now the surety for that bond. So you basically, your all caps name, which is your straw man and your birth certificate, that is what they are charging. They're not charging you the man or you the woman. They're charging the birth certificate because that birth certificate is a financial instrument. And most people don't know that. And most people don't know how to go and stand up for that and how to take that your power back by taking ownership of that birth certificate as the trustee of that account. So these public officials, when you start to know and learn this information, and this is why we're wanting to teach people how to do these criminal complaints because we're also teaching you that you are the trustee of these accounts. You're the trustee of your loved one's account, or you can become the trustee of your loved ones. Your loved one is actually the trustee. Um, and what's happened is actually, I'm sorry, your loved one is the beneficiary. And what has happened is these courts and these judges and these district attorneys have turned your loved one into a surety when your loved one is the beneficiary of that financial instrument. So it's time for us to come together. I'm asking everyone that watches this video because I want to send them the comments and I'm happy to black out everybody's names, but start sending out the comments showing that the world is watching and we're pissed off and that all of us will come together and file these criminal complaints on behalf of one another. That's the whole point Doug and I wanted to do this task force is it's time to create the people's militia. This is the people's militia by our First Amendment and us all starting to send out these um, complaints on behalf of one another. You know, I just sent one out for Andy. There's a, um, a couple more people that are working on criminal complaints now that are going to send to me. And it's like if they get three or four more or more complaints, one, if they get three criminal complaints and they're a public official, they're no longer insurable. So they can't be insured. So then you can turn around and go after a lot more of their personal property, not just their insurance that they have on them, but go after um, their insurance. Okay, we need instructions step by step. So Joanne, if you haven't got on the email for the task force, do that. The step by step is 
everyone has a case or something that has happened to them from a public official. The first step is to write your statement of facts. Okay. It's basically a timeline of what has happened to you or your loved one in that criminal complaint. It's like from the beginning of the case to wherever the case is now. Statement one, okay, statement two, and take your emotion out of it because I know that this, when these are our loved ones, this is emotional and a lot of us are, are emotional because of it, but you have to take your emotion out of it, do your statement of facts, and then we're sending out sample, I've done a lot of criminal complaints lately, and I'm sending out a sample criminal complaint. My points and authorities and arguments, you'll do your statement of facts and the points and authorities and arguments, which is universal to every single case that people can use. And so I will send that out to you like we've done with this task force. And then what happens is we will then send it out to everyone that I have added onto this task force and say, hey, we want you to send this certified mail to uh, JAD because listen, the military needs to step in. This is crimes against we the people. They have kidnapped our loved ones and put them in a warehouse, okay, their bodies and profiting financially. They are unjustly enriching themselves. And then they're turning around and getting pissed when we stand up to them and they're retaliating against our loved ones and putting them in the hole. And listen, there's a, maybe it was Joanne. I don't know if it was you, Joanne or Lori, one of you guys uh, follow me on Telegram and I could be getting it wrong. I think your daughter might be in prison and I, or jail. And I hope you don't mind me saying that, but they she's been in the hole for like a very long time. This is where we come together. We put, we start posting, hey, we the people are pissed off. Kate, hey, this is where I'm from and I'm pissed off. And you start commenting on my page. Then what you do is you start screenshotting on my page how pissed off the people are against these public officials. And you do the criminal complaint. And then when they start retaliating, then you show them the court of public opinion, which is all of us right now, because the court of public opinion is a lot bigger than the court of their well their kangaroo court right that we the people have the power and we need to start realizing that we have the power um lori the, here's the thing the you the republic so lori asked the, the so do these rules and regulations apply to the u.s corporation or the u.s constitutional republic first of all we are we never consented to go into a corporation we are a republic we are a we are living men and women they have turned all of us into, um, oh gosh, a financial entity through our birth certificate, also known as our straw man. And so we never consented to that. So, um, no, down in prison. Okay. Sorry, it was not Joanne that's had someone in the prison. So I'll read these comments in a second. Um, because then I get side, I'm like, you know, squirrel, <laughs> look at the comment and comment on. Um, but we never consented to go into this corporation. So basically what they're doing is they're, they've set up these kangaroo, kangaroo courts. The um, U.S. corporation is bankrupt. It was bankrupt in, I can't remember what the year was. I'd have to go back and look. But the U.S. corporation is bankrupt. They don't have authority over us. And the problem is, is a lot of people get scared of these public officials and they don't have the knowledge or they're not willing to learn the knowledge. And so then they turn around and they end up in jail or they end up in prison or something like that. And then they turn around and with loved ones that do know what they're talking about and that do have the knowledge, they'll turn around and go torture our loved ones. Let me tell you guys something, putting a man or a woman on a bus for 10 to 12 hours and not feeding them, then dropping them off their prison, letting them sleep for two or three hours, and then putting them on another bus for 10 to 12 hours, that is torture. When did we consent? This is America. That is a domestic terrorist here on American soil. We need to start telling them what they are. These are not public officials or public servants. They're domestic terrorists that have come onto American soil and are torturing our loved ones in these jails and these prisons and through these courts, just like the uh, policy enforcement officers that pull you over when they say, oh, you were speeding or your tail lights out, but their lights are going. Well, tell me what emergency has happened that you your lights are on. You're, you're pulling me over, but your lights are on. When a cop's lights are on, it means that there is an emergency. Last time I checked, I mean, going five or 10 miles over the speed limit or having a broken taillight doesn't constitute as an emergency. Yet he's now pulled you over. He's um, kidnapped you or he's put you under seas with a gun attached. And if you don't have a gun, you are at a disadvantage because if that officer at any point in time decides that you're being coming on brutally or whatever and doesn't like how you are, he can just shoot you because that's what they were taught. This is literally a communist country and it's time to stand up. 
So I am asking people that are watching this and the people that are in different countries as, as well, because this helps the Americans, because if America falls, the world falls. I'm telling you guys that right now. America is the most awesome country to live in because of the way that our forefathers set it up. This is supposed to be a republic. We are supposed to be a silver and gold back standard. There shouldn't be all of the um, homeless that are you see around. All of these public officials have taken our birth certificates when we were born and told us when we became parents that we had to put our kids into this birth certificate program, took a bond out on them. And then as they got older and tracked the child, they were like, okay, well, you know what? This bond is this much. So guess what? I'm going to make up some BS case, court case, and go after them because I get more money to imprison this person than I would if they were free. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take this birth certificate and take this bid bond, the performance bond that are on these court cases, and I'm going to go enslave someone. And on top of that, they've now kidnapped, right, your loved one into these prisons and these jails. And that's torture enough. But then when they get pissed, when you stand up to them and they are going to go torture them even more by putting them in the hole or putting them on bus therapy, not letting them eat, not letting them have any type of um, going to the bathroom, like basic human, like humane things. Like, listen, these are this is a slave, not to mention when men and women, they they will shave their head. Let me that's some Nazi shit right there. I'm telling you right now, part of the language, but that is just some Nazi freaking shit. You're going to shave their head and take their identity away from them. That is what Nazis do. That is what communists do. That is what people that want to steal your freedom. And listen, guess what? If all of us don't start standing up to this system with these criminal complaints, we're next. Our freedom is next. They're already coming for our freedom. Our, there, so many that follow me, they're coming for our freedom right now. So this is where the court of public opinion needs to come into play. You put, hey, I am from this state or country. I am watching you public officials. And we, the people, have had enough. You are public servants. You work for us. We are watching what you're doing. And we do not consent. I'm asking every single person that watches this to post that because then what I can do is turn around and everyone else that's doing these criminal complaints can turn around and screenshot the court of public opinion and say, hey, this is how many people are pissed off. This is how many people are coming together. And this is how many people I have rallying around me that's ready to file these criminal complaints against you. And three strikes, you're out. Three strikes, guess what? The military, what well, you have three criminal complaints in one one case, the military cannot ignore it. Uh, the Department of Civil Rights Division, uh, Department of Justice Civil Rights Division cannot ignore it. The um, district attorney or I'm sorry, the U.S. attorney in your district, which is also the Department of Justice, cannot ignore it when there is three. That is the whole point of this task force coming together. Now it's time for the court of public opinion and start to show them that, hey, nationally and internationally, we're watching and we're pissed off and we're going to start rallying around together because we're over what's happening right now. And this is just not OK. You know what I mean? Torturing humans for profit is human trafficking. Listen, this is exactly what happened to me, except for I was enslaved through the elite and rich. The only difference is, is that they there's a different prison system for each person that they decide to traffic. There's called human trafficking, right, where they go, they take you for sex and to rape you. Well, it's not sex because sex means consent, but to rape you and torture you. And then there's human trafficking in persons part B, which is what they're doing to our loved ones. They're doing it to the ones that are in jail, the ones that are in prison, the ones that are in the court, in, in any court case. And let me tell you, I have a lot of people that reach out to me and they're like, this is my court case. And they want to tell me that they have entered in these motions of their statutes and codes. I'm like, listen, you have no authority in their court. First of all, it's a satanic ritual, okay, with the the judge in her black robe or his black robe, right, coming out, everything six feet apart, just like they did with this pandemic, all of that, right, it's a ritual. You have no authority in their court. Guess what? You take that out of their court. You now have the authority, okay? You have the authority when you take it out. You appear by special appearance, by paper, and you say, I'm not coming into your court because you're a kangaroo court and you don't have jurisdiction and show me, let me, let me ask you guys, do you guys know that there's no such thing as a licensed attorney? 
There's no such thing. Call the licensing commission. There's a driver's license. There's a real estate license. There's different licensing, but there's not anything but a licensed attorney. So you can go into the courtroom and ask the judge, judge, are you a licensed attorney? Guess what? She says, yes, she perjures herself. Okay, then you can ask her, her, her or him to be removed off of the bench because they perjured themselves. Again, guys, the whole point of me wanting to do this video today is I have loved ones too that they're coming after, right? I don't, I'm not do, like delusional to think that they're not gonna come after the people that I love because I am on the front lines. I've been on the front lines of this war for a very long time, okay? And I'm sick of them coming after my family. I'm sick of them coming after your family. I'm sick of them coming after Americans and allowing you know, the border to be open and just people walk in so then we can go to war, right? They have dumbed us down so much that people are so exhausted about what we're talking about or what Doug and I are talking about that they don't want to learn it. And they're so programmed to say, okay, well, let me go, let me go see how I can fight in their court. Listen, you got to start to know who your enemy is. Our enemies right now are the district attorneys. They are the U.S. attorneys. They are these judges. These, these are the bunch of pedophiles and traffickers that we're hunting, okay? These pastors that are attached or, or connected to those policy enforcement officers and district attorneys and everything else. Listen, those are the people that are our enemies. It's all connected. We have to start coming together and say enough's enough, okay? Because all of the mega church pastors and these district attorneys and everything, it, what's crazy is some people will say they've done it with Ken Paxton, right? I, I'm like going after Ken Paxton because he is a fraud. And you know how many people said, oh, well, he's against the Bush regime. Guess what? You know why Ken Paxton's against the Bush regime? Because he runs his own regime and the Bush regime is his competition. So he's pissed because the Bush regime has a little bit more clout or whatever you want to call it. And so that's why he said it. They tickle our ears a little bit, right? What's that Bible verse, right? You tickle your ears a little bit and then you're like, oh, oh, he's for us. Listen, if it's a, a U.S. attorney in the corporation, they are not on your side. They're not. They are. They are unjustly enriching themselves. I encourage everyone to go look up and see how many um, homes Ken Paxton has and how much money he makes off of we the people. Okay. Listen, I am not against anyone being wealthy. I, I don't think being wealthy makes you, you know, a bad person. I think there are really intelligent, smart people that have been good with money and everything else. But I am against that these public officials are, were, are millionaires and billionaires off of tax dollars where they're taxing us taxing us on every single thing gas and grocery every little thing you're listen me talking right now is taxed because that's how much they tax us i am against these public officials profiting off of us and then i am against them profiting off of our loved ones and trafficking them through the person or through the system it's called human trafficking in persons part b okay go go look it up you know and again Join the task force. If you guys don't know, uh, go to my website, uh, www.madisonmarquette.com. Go to the contact page, scroll all the way down, enter in, say, hey, I want to join the task force. Here's my email. I'll add you to the email. And when we do videos, I will send out an email saying, hey, we're doing this video. If you can't make the video, I will send out the video. I will send you a sample criminal complaint. I cannot look at everybody's criminal complaint. I just can't. I don't have the time. I like... I wish that I could, but I'll I'll send one out for you. If you do it, your statement of facts and everything else, the sample one, again, the points and authorities and arguments work for it. So what I'm asking everyone right now, and I'm asking you one, to share this video, which I never ask people to do. I'm asking you to have all of your friends and loved ones come on here and do you a favor and comment and say, I'm from this state or this country. We the people are pissed off and we're watching and these public servants work for us and we are sick of them torturing our loved ones and we are going to rally around Madison and we're going to rally around every single person that these public officials are harming and we consent to sending out a criminal complaint. Whether you send one out or not, just the fact that they see that people are going are coming together and they're pissed off, this is going to scare them. It's going to scare them because they don't expect us to come together. They want us to hate each other. They want us to hate us, hate each other over race, religion, you know, every single thing. They want us to hate each other because that is how they stay in power. It's time to come together. Listen, there's so many people that hate me. If they would have take that like hate and realize that they could turn it into knowledge because they're so obsessed with hating on me and doing these hate groups. Listen, we have the same enemy. I'm not your enemy. 
You just hate me because people are listening. So instead, hey, why don't we put this crazy aside and come together? Hey, I give you permission to hate on me after. I'll even come on your show and let you hate on me. I might come back at you, but it's time to come together. This division and everything else, it's done. So this is, it's the time for the court of public opinion. A lot of us have done criminal complaints. I know that Doug has, I know he has Andy on my show. They came after his um, property. I know that there are other people that are in the court system right now with loved ones with the court or prison, and they're doing criminal complaints too. Listen, let's come together. So my last thing is, again, I'm asking you guys to post where you're from, post um, that you're coming together and that these we're pissed off because these public servants work for us and we are done allowing them to harm our loved ones in the system. And then this is a tool for you to turn around and show them that you, you've you got an army. Our army is coming together and we're pissed and we are going to start coming after all of them because it's time. It's time to take our country back. It's time to free our loved ones from being enslaved. It's time to really understand what these courts are doing with these bonds and how they're profiting so much money. This is a taxable event too, guys. They're making profit off of your loved one's birth certificate, which is the straw man, the all caps name. And then they're kidnapping the your loved one and putting them in a warehouse for however long. And every single time, every year that they're in there, they make, you know, millions and millions of dollars off of them each year. And then they turn around and they, they commit fraud by making you pay for commissary. They make you to pay um, for them, for you to communicate with them. They make you pay so you can talk with them on the phone. Listen, that is constructive fraud, guys. There is no statute of limitations on constructive fraud. These public officials do not have immunity. The next phase of this criminal complaint is letting them know that we're coming after them in their personal capacity. If you didn't watch the show that Doug and I just did, please go watch it because we're talking about coming after them in their public capacity, or I'm sorry, their personal capacity, and you can go after their homes, their cars, their jewelry, their every single thing that they have as an asset, you can come after them in this private um, arena because they are really truly not public officials they are they are a corporation and so they are bound by the corporation statutes and codes but we the people are not bound by those statutes and codes and corporations and so when they start walking outside of their jurisdiction which is kidnapping our loved ones and everything else guess what boom you just got them you know what i mean if all of us started to go after their property and everything else and do it the right way guess what they're going to shape up real quick and they're going to shape up and see that we have all come together and that we're 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 done we're going to come out and we're going to take their stuff and then the ones of us that don't need it we're going to give that their their houses and everything else to, to the humanity and make that your human humanitarian project and give it to the people that need it or sell it and then give that money you know, use it to go do good in the world and take care of the homeless, take care of the needy, take care of the widow, take care of the ones in need, you know, and shoot, go buy some churches and shut them down and then turn them into what they need to be turned into, which is community centers. And they need to be turned into housing and how's our, you know, the mental health that are, um, or the drug addicts or the homeless or, or whoever, and turn it into that. So again, I know I kind of just went off on like, a lot of different things, but the main thing is, is for us to come together, you know, and Doug and I are trying, but man, I get censored all over the place. I mean, they delete my followers and then people get all mad at me. I'm like, dude, listen, I don't have time to like go delete a million people off of my thing, you know? So it's just, and oh, that's, thank you, Lori, you may just remind me of something. Here's the thing. I put some emails up here on the top, email all of these people and tell them you're watching you know what, you're pissed and you're watching and this, you've had enough and this isn't okay. And you know what, I added um, Mr. Senator Ted Cruz on there and Ted Cruz talks a good game, right? He says that he's for we the people. He seems like he is on our side. Well, guess what? It's time to put his money where his mouth is. If Ted Cruz is on the people's side, we start with him. We start pushing back in the Senate and we start pushing back in these House representatives because guess what? If they're not going to be for we the people against these prison systems, these wardens who are CEOs um, and against these judges who are again um, are acting as a trustee um, against the beneficiary, and they are financially gaining on it and they 
and the Senate and the House of Representatives don't come for we the people, guess what? Then we're going to turn around and we're going to file a criminal complaint on the House Representative and the Senate and Senator Ted Cruz and whoever else because they are not for we the people. It is time to really push back, guys, on these people, okay? Um, I, I mean, so Lori said Senator John Kennedy voted for that $95 billion bill yesterday. Again, guys, a, a $95 billion bill, guess what? First of all, it's fake money, and then they're going to tax you on this crazy stuff, right? And you're not going to be able to afford it. These people don't work. They don't work for us. They're supposed to, but they don't. They work for their wallets and they work for the regime. And so it's time for us to really push back. So I encourage all of you to um, email, and I put multiple emails there for Senator Ted Cruz and all his lack, his employees who are harming um, some individuals. And multiple people were reaching out to me about this prison system in Texas and letting me know of the things that are happening. So please, let's email the, the prison system, let's email Senator Ted Cruz and let him know, listen, you either stand up and you work for us and you start closing down these courts and arresting these um, kangaroo courts and these pretend public officials that are holding demonic seances on our land in America, or we're going to turn around Mr. Senator Ted Cruz or uh, John Kennedy or whoever it might be. And we're going to turn around and we're going to rally together and we're going to turn around and we're going to say, hey, we're going to file a criminal complaint on you. And listen, when you send anything to JAG, you put SOS because we, the American people, are in uh, distress and they have taken over. This is a big, huge regime, and it has been here for many, many years, and we the people have had enough. We the people, the militia, the people's militia need to stand up. The resistance needs, needs to rise up, and this is how we do it. You know what? Listen, Doug and I are giving you guys this knowledge for free. We are sending out the criminal complaints that we're doing. The knowledge that I have gotten has been from Doug, and listen, you can't get any better knowledge from someone that beat, beat two life sentences in prison and now can still live to speak about it right they just try to kill him he had multiple strokes try to take him out and he's still walking so we're giving that to you for free when everybody else turns around and charges you we're giving it to you for free and we're saying hey here is the knowledge listen we're not going to do things for you i don't have time to look every, at everybody's case okay i one i just you know i wish i did okay but i also am not going to charge people for my time and charge you to do this. this is why doug and i are doing these classes and, and guess what doug and i are also fighting in our own with the our they've come after our families and our loved ones you know they won't come after us anymore because we're not scared of them they won't come after us because we're we laugh at them and we know what we're talking about they arrest us we're like hey we're smiling in our mugshot because we know we just got paid for them kidnapping us and putting us in the system. So again, you know what I mean? They're going to come after our loved ones. So, and, and listen, we are rough around the edges. Okay. Him and I didn't go through the hell that we went through without being rough around our edges and saying fuck now and then. Okay. You know, we try not to, but sometimes like this is heated. This is, they have, you, this, you guys should be pissed off. You should be pissed off just as much as us because you guys are suffering just alongside. We all have the same enemy, right? You know, all the religious spirits and everything like take that out of your your mentality in your head. The, the church has programmed you that if someone says a bad word, they're not worth listening to. Hey, maybe that is the person you should listen to because they have the knowledge that you need and the knowledge to help you take our country back and the knowledge to free your loved ones from the enslavement that they're in right now. So, again, I'm going to say it one last time. If you're watching this and I, I never ask, except for this time, I'm going to because I need the court of public opinion and I need it. And there's, you know what, 16 on here. If 16 people, and it's crazy, they have hundreds of people. This is how much they censor me. You know what I mean? I have across all social media about 150,000 followers and like they just cut it. And I don't care. I don't do it for the follows or the likes or anything like that. I do it so we, the people, can come together. You know what I mean? And our voices can come together. You know what? The, these courts and prisons, they are complicit in human trafficking and human trafficking in persons part B. Most of them are pedophiles and everything else that are sitting on the bench and everything else. And the ones that they say are pedophiles in the prison and not, not saying that there aren't some in there, but the ones that they call aren't truly pedophiles. They just need to financially enrich and, and unjust financially enrich themselves and financially and unjustly enrich themselves. So they have to kidnap people and make up false claims for them. And then they're making millions and billions and trillions of dollars off of kidnapping our loved ones, whether it's in human trafficking to be raped and tortured or in the prison system on the bus therapy. So 
please like this. Please share it. Please ask your friends to share it. And then please post on the comments and ask your friends like, hey, when you're, you know, going to coffee tomorrow or you're going to get a drink or dinner tonight, your loved ones say, hey, can you do me a favor and go to Madison's page and post where you're from? Say, hey, I'm pissed off and let the public, let these public officials know that they're watching. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to screenshot it. I'll black out everyone's name. I'm going to say, hey, here, the court of public opinion is now watching you guys. And if we can get this to where they are freaked out that enough of us are watching, guess what? They're going to start minding their P's and Q's for a little bit, but we need to be one step ahead of them in every single aspect that they're doing. This is the art of war. This is 5D chess. And we all need to start learning how to play it together. And we need to start teaching people how to play it. We need to te start teaching people how to win in this war. We know how to win in this war. We just have to make sure we're one step. Listen, their playbook is always the same. I've noticed that over these past couple months, their playbook is exactly the same. It never changes. So anyway, I love all of you guys. Post where you're from, say you're pissed off, let them know we're watching. And um, is there a specific link to your page where you post? So I am on um, Lori Facebook under Madison Marquette and then under um, Rumble, Madison Marquette for news. And then so like it, I'll post the links today. Um, I need to do like a link tree so everyone can see that. So um, I will go ahead and just look on my page like you're on my Laura, you're on my facebook right now so you would just come back to my facebook this should stay live unless they pull it off and then i run um youtube will never let me go live because they have to make sure you know i'm not saying anything inappropriate which i don't know i said pandemic so they probably will take it off but um on youtube and yeah you follow me on facebook so just wherever whatever social media you're watching me on whether it is rumble or anything hey post on there because i have um stream this across all my social medias and the ones that don't stream live i will upload so again say you're pissed off where you're from and that we the people are watching these public servants make sure you put in there that we're watching these public servants and we're done and we're pissed and we are going to exercise our first amendment right to peacefully protest and again look at the emails Go email Senator Ted Cruz and email the other people up there and say, hey, we're watching. We know that you're torturing other human beings right now, and we are pissed. So anyway, I love you guys. Um, thank you, Tennessee Sunshine, for posting. And just all of you guys, listen, it's time to come together. I'm appreciative of all of you guys. Um, and you know what? F you, Facebook, and uh, X or Twitter or whatever for censoring me and YouTube as well. So anyway, love you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I appreciate you guys posting. Let's take our fucking country back.